Hello everybody, welcome back. I am back. The trip is over, I sort of. Got very, very complicated to try to get videos out while we're there. A lot of work going on. So now I'm back. I've literally got to now go and help unload into the convent. So let me get you up to speed. You already know we travelled to Norwich and we stayed in a beautiful, beautiful manor house. It was Michael's birthday, so we had a day out around Norwich, which was really, really a pretty place to spend a day out. But it wasn't a holiday, and the real work had to start at some point. It's the day this entire trip starts to make sense. It's early, it's cold, and we're all in a rush. Just go on with it. It's been a really long day. We have transportation sorted. Not what we originally intended, but we'll make that work. It's coming towards the end of the day. But to be honest, what I've been doing today is, apart from helping dismantle, run around to B&Q again, getting more bubble wrap, um, little bits that we needed, sorting out all these little things which we need as we progress. And we're getting somewhere, we're taking it apart but I had the opportunity to be able to walk around this cathedral when there's virtually no one here and it's getting dusky like this and it is just beautiful. More dismantling, more loading and where the organ once stood became an empty space, which was a little bit sad to look at. Then it was a drive down from Norwich to the Channel Tunnel and across and we were back in France. A long night, but ready to unload the next morning.
So Phil's just reversing the van up. We're basically unloaded. I think he's done it. That was a tight fit, but in here, everyone, this is the organ. It looks a lot better in the cathedral at Norwich, but we'll get this assembled and hoping to start next week. So yeah, it's gonna look fantastic. Good job, mate. Fit the gate. Yeah, it fits through the gate. Notice how once again I'm doing all the stuff that damage to a vehicle. Everyone else is taking the glory. You're taking the glory now, Phil. Oh, okay. I, I scrape it, don't get it on Okay. Phil wasn't credit for what he's doing. Bless him. <laughs> he does deserve it though. Oh, what was that? Bang. Good job, mate. Cheers. Well, does that mean I've got to come down tomorrow again and help everyone? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, everyone, um, Michael, Ryan, and Yanis are going to... We're meant to pop down to help us today, but they're all quite busy, so we'll save it for tomorrow. Well, we've got everything else out. It's just the last of the really heavy yeah. stuff, which is more than two people. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to damage it just well, between us. But... I'm bothered about my back, actually. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> Mine's aching as well. So did you enjoy the trip, Phil? Yeah. It, it was emotional. I'm not going to say it was the least stressful thing I've ever done in my entire life, but it was up there. Up there with watching two children being born into the world. I was going to say, the last time I was that stressed was about three days before my wedding. Yeah. For different reasons. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> so it is now unloaded. It's in the convent's chapel. I didn't have to drive the van back, Ryan volunteered, so he went with Billy so I could get on with things at home because I've obviously been away for the first half of the month from home as well. So it's done. And yes, it was very stressful, but it was a wonderful, wonderful experience um, because the amount of people, and I just, I can't name everybody, but it was so wonderful that so many people came to help, uh, came to visit, to say hello. It was truly um Quite heartwarming actually uh, so everybody that helped everybody that came down I know I spoke to everybody but thank you again it was wonderful to meet you I wish it was still bright sunshine blue skies here it's not the autumn is arriving and the grey clouds are out but so what it's still always beautiful and I can't wait to now get on with stuff here so I'm gonna have a bit of food and get on with stuff See you next time. Bye now.